Hey guys, Skylum at Heights here. So recently my friend sent me a video of an ant trapped in a droplet of water in the early morning. And that kind of got me thinking, why does this happen? So today in this video, I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on this matter and hopefully providing an accurate explanation. So initially when my friend sent me this video, at the same time in my chemistry class, I was learning about intermolecular forces, which I'll explain in just a bit. But thinking about the ant and how it's stuck in the water molecule, uh, I saw a connection to this concept I'm learning in class, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to explain this uh, in just a bit. So firstly, what are intermolecular forces? In essence, they're basically attractions between molecules. If you've ever heard of surface tension, which is a property of a liquid, that's related to intermolecular forces. Liquids with higher attractions uh, result in higher surface tension, which means it's more gelatinous, like honey. And if it has weaker intermolecular forces, then the liquid will be more fluid. Water in particular has strong intermolecular forces due to two reasons. The first reason is dipole forces. If you look at the molecular structure of water, you'll see that it's bent because of two extra pairs of electrons on the oxygen called lone pairs. This bent structure gives the water molecule a slight negative charge on the oxygen end and a slight positive charge on the end between the two hydrogens. As you may know, things that are negatively charged attract things that are positively charged. So when two water molecules are aligned on opposite ends, they'll attract. The second reason is hydrogen bonding. This type of force is present when the hydrogen atom forms a bond with an extremely electronegative element like oxygen. In this case, the electrons in the bond are not shared equally because the oxygen atom is more electronegative, so it pulls the electrons closer to it. This results in the hydrogen end having a large positive charge because its core, which is basically a proton, is essentially exposed to the outside. And just like with dipole forces, since positive attracts negative, you can think of these extremely positive hydrogen ends as magnets, which attract negatively charged ends of other molecules. So now we know water can strongly attract other molecules. And that can basically explain why the ant is being trapped by the water droplet. However, there's still one mystery that needs to be solved. After a Google search, I found out that an ant's exoskeleton called the cuticle is hydrophobic. In simple terms, that means basically it's water repellent. So water can't stick to the ant's outer shell. How can it still trap it? Well, if you look closer at the video, it's not the ant's body that's being trapped. It's actually its legs that are being held tightly in place by the water droplet. In fact, throughout the video, the ant's able to pivot and wiggle around with no further risk of entrapment, but is its legs that can't escape. So although the ant's body is water repellent, its legs are not. And it's kind of like an Achilles heel to the entire picture. Just like a magnet, even if an object has a small trace of magnetic material in it, it'll get attracted regardless of how magnetic the majority of the object is. Thus, when the ant tries to pull itself out of its predicament, it can't because without enough strength, it can't escape water's superior adhesive forces. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.